Meanwhile, the Supreme Court has said its February 8 order barring the federal government and its agencies from enforcing the February 10 deadline for the use of the old 200, 500 and 1,000 Naira notes still subsists. The court made the clarification following a complaint by a lawyer to Kaduna, Kogi and Zampara State, Abdullah Kim Mustafa, a senior advocate of Nigeria, that the federal government and its agencies have failed to comply with the order and have allegedly directed the rejection of the old notes. Justice John Okoro, who presided over a seven-member panel of the court, said there was no need for a renewal of the court's order. He noted that since the order made by the court on February 8 was made pending the determination of the motion for injunctions filed by the plaintiff, the order still subsists since the motion was not yet heard. We made the point to the court that uh, the court order of 8th of February restraining the uh, defendant is still subsisting and the court confirmed now. And the implication of that is that the old notes still remain as legal tender in this country. The uh, policy or directive given by the Supreme Governor becomes inconsequential. It's a national problem and we are working towards solving this problem. There are in two sides. We are affected on both sides. We are trying to solve it. I want to urge, and of course, all of us governors, we want to urge all Nigerians. Yes, we are all suffering, but let's stay alive. Let's maintain peace, law and order. If we kill ourselves, others will remain there to enjoy your money. It is just a temporary setback for us in this country. We are not condemning this particular policy of President Muhammad Buhari. It is going to be the way to go, but the implementation, that is what we are questioning. 